let's talk about the process. Um, what comes first, the idea, the script, or the money? No, <laughs> I, I think hands down it's always the idea because, uh, you know, I mean, if, at least in our world, you know, we come from ultra low budget uh, world, you know, a lot of the projects that we've worked on are, you know, usually not associated with any s studio, very rarely associated with distributors. And, you know, it's always got to be the idea because the idea is what's really going to go and get you the money. The idea is always going to be what's going to attract the talent, uh, crew and actor-wise. And it's, you know, that's very important, I feel like. Because if the story doesn't grab you, then why throw money Well, tell out? us how it worked specifically for Finale. Um, with Finale, actually, I got involved with the project. I, I met John Elfers, who directed our film. I met him while working on a TV show. He and I were both working on this TV show. And it, it, it's actually a very interesting story. It, um, he was just a production assistant, you know, trying to get by, survive. He was, you know, he had been in the city for a little while. Um, we're based out of Los Angeles, and he, I saw him filming our behind the scenes. Our behind the scenes photographer was uh, absent that day, and they asked him to shoot some behind the scenes. And I looked at it, and I, I said, let me see what you're playing with over here. And I saw real stories being told on the behind the scenes. You know, this guy just shot a couple of moments, but I was like, this is this not is a lot to work with. You right. Sure. <laughs> and so I said, what else, what else are you doing? What else have you got? And he showed me the script that he was trying to develop into a feature. And uh, I really liked the story, but I was still kind of, you know, it, it's very scary because when you commit and yourself. that was finale? That was finale. And you commit yourself fully. And I said, well, I like the script, but what else have you done? You know, that's always the question. And <laughs> you become the Hollywood mob. Right, right. You know, yeah, me and this know. little guy, I don't know anything, but it's, you know, it's what I've read. And you're supposed to ask those important questions. But uh, basically, I saw some of his shorts. And what I realized was that he and I shared a lot of the same passions for it. One, uh, we like to shoot on film. And film is a very dying art form right now. I'm sad to, to admit it a lot of the time, but you know it's so expensive. Uh, you know, so, some of the most money that we've spent on in this film was for the film itself, for the cameras, and uh, for the processing afterwards. Uh, but um, he showed me his shorts, which he was able to sh put together. I think his first short, which was shot in '16, he put it together for $900, and it mm. looked amazing. His second short, uh, which was on Super 16 in color. Uh, it was a couple of minutes long. It went around to a couple of festivals. It was, uh, I think he spent uh, a little over $2,000 putting it together, including the processing costs and everything. So we real and he shot it in like two, three, four days overall. And most festivals won't take something unless it's 35, right? Um, well, Is now, that changing? Th that's not changing. Anymore. Not, not anymore. Changing. I think that's changing heavily, actually. It's, in fact, some festivals are leaning back toward, give us a DVD because we're trying to let all our films come out on DVD. So... You know, you take it off whatever you shot on, give it to us on a DVD version, and this way it, it levels out the playing field heavily. I mean, like, you can't go to a festival with a 35 print unless you've got $30,000 to go and make that answer print. Mm -hmm. And right. let's, let's admit this, unless you're a studio, very few filmmakers can really afford to make several of those prints to go to multiple, multiple festivals. But that's how we got started. We met by accident. I fell in love with some of his work, and I said, I mean, for me as a producer, the most important question was, can we do this cheaply? <laughs> you know, right. are you going to be the kind of person that's willing to compromise? Luckily uh, and unluckily, when it came down to it, he wasn't as willing to compromise as much as I wanted him to. But I think that's the most important thing in an independent film is you have your business side and you have your creative side. It's a constant tug and pull, and you have to kind of, you know, make the best product in the end from it. And Pete, um, well, in the case of Hayes, it was a little different story. I mean, we were literally commission to do that film so I don't know if that really falls into the same category I and mean, we, we fell into such a just a lightning struck in the exact in the precise place that we wanted to we but it started with it all starts with connections and a short films and other projects I had done in the past and um, that had gotten recognized by somebody who wanted to do a piece about college drinking in the the manner of negotiating and everything with them, it, it evolved into a into a documentary. For the short films that I've done, which are even lower budget than what you're talking about, I just took the uh, now it's a high def uh, camcorder uh, that we work with. I call it a camcorder, but it's prosumer grade, which is you know supposed to be good. Um, but even when Jimmy hits the big town, was a camcorder and uh, treated it to look like film, so I right. cheated. <laughs> no, no. Um, but those evolved simply from an idea that just kind of refused to go away. I just want to do this thing. 
and it still happens right now. And what's cool about short films, and, and, and you've hit on this, is um, they're calling cards, you know, they're, they're portfolio pieces, and people will eventually see them. I've made associations with producers that I work with now, and other people down the road, even worked for Disney at one point, thanks to a short film they had done, for close to no money. 500 bucks seems to be about the norm for doing these things, and that's covering food for people when they show up, you know, and, uh, and listing uh, friends that you know and connections and whatnot. Um, but just literally that, in the, in the sense that that's independent, to back to your original question, is the independence to do exactly what you want to do. Um, and I think anybody who's doing short films has their feature film they would like to do. And we're t we, we were talking about this just a little a while ago, Chris and I, that um, yeah, now I want to go to another level and do a feature, horror type of thing, but we've got to find financing, so that, that's a bit, bit of a hurdle, um, and you know, there's no magic bullet for that.